it's Tiffany from Carter Acre Clay. I wanted to make a quick video today because it's mid-April. Things are changing in the garden. Wanted to give you a little bit of an update of what's going on in my life and what's going on in the garden. So I guess we should start with my life. Um, I haven't made any videos lately because I've been a little busy because I got a new job. I am officially an intern at a farm. So long story short, there's a company that I now work for and they are trying to train farmers basically. And I applied and I got the job. So I am learning how to be a farmer. What does that mean? That means that I am a lot busier now. Um, I wake up a lot earlier and I'm a lot more tired. So I want to give you a heads up. I'm probably only going to be making videos like hopefully like once a month. I'm going to try really hard to do once a month updates on the garden. Um, it also means I may end up working in another farm. I may, I'm definitely putting these learning things into practice in the quarter acre backyard and I'm expanding, which we'll talk about in this video. So it's super exciting. I'm having a lot of fun. If you guys have noticed on my Instagram, I am posting a lot of the things I'm doing at the farm. It's called Old Trail Farm and it's pretty amazing. So you should follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you aren't already because I'm posting a lot of stuff every day about that. So enough of that. Now let's talk about the quarter acre. We're in the sunroom right now um, and a lot has changed over the last few months. I've got some stuff in the ground we're gonna go over and we're just gonna kind of chat about the plan and what we got going on. So enough jibber jabber, let's talk about what's going on and let's go for a little walk through the garden today. All right, sweet. Okay, so let's go out of here. For starters, let's start right here. I made myself a table. So Matt and I renovated our kitchen over a few months ago. And uh, while we were renovating it, I saved the sink. So I knew I was gonna need a wash station for the vegetables. And I am, um, so I was bored the other day, used a lot of scrap wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the hose and I'll be able to take stuff from the garden and then bring it here, wash it here, and then let it dry. Or I could just spray it here with the hose on this section. We got some kale going on right here because it's a little kitty wonkus. So I had to put a pot there because it's um, uneven. So this is a new addition. Super pumped about that. Uh, Bella loves it too. Uh, we got some weeding to do. Here's the herb garden. There's not too much going on in the herb garden. A little bit's going on here. So I did see the mint. We got mint is already going crazy. But you know I love mint. So I'm gonna let that go crazy. Look at the oregano, we'll get to that. I did plant some cilantro. Cilantro loves cold weather. So we do have cilantro here, loving it. Happy cilantro. I did plant some parsley also. There's some parsley over there in between all the weeds. Yeah, I'm a little behind on the weeding. Look at the oregano. So my oregano is going crazy right now. And can we talk about these chives? Which I just noticed a huge slug on it. So the slug season has begun because it's April in Cleveland and it's raining. So these are my daisies. They're coming back with a bunch of mugwort, which is a weed or it could be a medicinal thing. I've been learning at work that we could use mugwort for other things. Planted a little sage the other day. It's a little on the struggle bus, um, but it's okay. It's, it's living, living large. So here's a thing too I noticed the other day. I planted a little dill too, right next to that weed, if you can see it. Check this out. I planted carrots here last year. We have a carrot that overwintered. Look at this. I did not plant carrots in this bed yet. There's more than one. So there's carrots coming up. That's garbage. There's carrots coming up from where I planted carrots last year. So I'm gonna let them go. I don't know what this is going on here there's all kinds of weird things happening so I'm just gonna let that go I think this is calendula coming back not entirely sure it looks like it wants to be something so I'm giving the herb garden a little time because 
just because. All right, so let's go over here and talk about the view. I don't know if you guys have noticed, a little bit of a change has happened. So let's just state the obvious. We got a new shed uh, right there. I'm the happiest little lady ever because, well, we'll talk about that yet, but the view has changed. The red little chicken coop is gone, got a new shed, but let's talk about this. I have cardboard here. So this is the rain garden. If you guys remember, I made a huge rain garden. It's okay, it's not perfect. I need to get more plants. I think actually this weekend, I'm probably gonna go buy more plants because you'll notice these piles of cardboard. I'm expanding the garden. So I've kind of talked about it, yes and no. I've been going over in my brain if I want to. I've decided, yeah, grass is lame. So we're gonna get rid of all of this grass here as much as I can. I'm thinking this section, cause it's always just waterlogged anyways. So I'm gonna get a bunch of wood chips next week. I already have it on order. It's coming next week. I'm probably gonna weed whack this grass cause it's too wet to bring the mower back here, but I'm gonna weed whack it really low, put the cardboard down as much as I can, and then do wood chips. I'm thinking this section actually might, I might do a three sisters garden, maybe. Maybe do some corn because when I went to the Amish country, I bought a bunch of corn seed and I might as well use it. So I was thinking about doing this as a corn patch and some pumpkin and winter, winter squash, possibly. Uh, still seeing if I wanna do that. Well, whatever, it's a work in progress. But I did expand a little over here. So let's talk about this now. So this is potatoes. So this is a new bed I started in the winter slash fall. I got all those Christmas trees, remember, from the neighborhood. I could put branches down. It's almost like a lazy hugoculture style, but it's my style. I just do whatever. So I did cardboard here. I did branches. I did old compost from the chicken coop, straw, grass clippings, and I planted potatoes. So... <laughs> The straw is already sprouting, which is not great, but it is what it is that happens. So there are potatoes under here and we'll be harvesting potatoes. This bed is also new. And if you'll notice, it's planted with strawberries. We've got 26 strawberry plants. This bed has like 21. And then over there in the pots on the fence line, we've got five more strawberry plants. I'm doing an experiment versus in ground versus potted, but they are happy strawberries. Look at this. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. Look how happy they are. They're gonna flower. I should pick off the flowers, but I don't know if I'm going to because I'm so compulsive. I really just want strawberries. So the strawberries are new and they are happy. So here in the archway, I changed it up a little bit. We still have the two pots. These are peas. So peas are a cold weather crop. So they love cool weather. So I planted peas here and they're going to go up and they're not gonna get too tall, but they will fill in this little area here. So I got this here, more peas. Oh, I had mud on my hand. More peas going up here. I put my little chandelier there too. There's gonna be flowers coming out of that. It's my little solar chandelier. So here's the garden today. So it's what, April 16th. All right. Now this side, I have nothing really planted in it. Um, I've just prepped the beds because I got a bunch of compost. This side, remember, it gets shaded by this oak tree. So I'm doing a lot of my lettuces, cabbage, cooler shade loving kind of crops here. So along the fence here, you'll see I have more peas going all the way down here. Peas all the way down the fence line. See, look at that, how cute it is. They're going all the way down. See? So then that takes us here. What's the farthest left bed? So I did six beds in this section. 
So here we've got carrots. So let me show you. They finally came up. I was uh, losing hope for these little guys, but if you look ever so closely, these little green guys are carrots. So see, see the carrots? We've got carrots here. This is a carrot. Okay, so it's going all the way down. You can see the line. If you look closely, it sprouts. I don't know if you guys remember last year, I was on the struggle bus with carrots, but I think this year it's gonna work out just fine. Just have to work on my patience. So that's the carrots. So the next bed here, you'll see, we've got stuff growing. We've got radishes. So this bed, I have spinach on one side, radishes, spinach. So I don't know if you've noticed, there's nothing right here. This spinach has not germinated. I don't know what's going on. Either it could be a longer, different kind of, they're two different kinds of spinach, so who knows? They're older seeds, so that could be an issue. Or it could just be a different variety of spinach that just takes longer to germinate. So I'm giving it time, I'm not giving up just quite yet. Radishes came up, these are looking great. And then this spinach came up. So look here, this is all spinach. Getting there. And then these are all radishes. So we're going all the way down the row, spinach and radishes. This will be delicious. We can have a salad um, and radishes and spinach. It's a random volunteer kale. I'm gonna leave that because kale's delicious. Radishes and spinach are a cold weather crop, so they like this cool weather. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, it's only 40 degrees today. Um, it was 80 degrees last week, but yeah, that's Ohio, that's Cleveland. Okay, so we've got carrots, radishes, Apple trees are looking pretty good. I have no idea if this year we're gonna get apples. These are those silly like apple trees I bought from Burpee when I didn't know what I was doing. They're like these vertical one stem apple tree. I should not have bought them, but I did. So they're doing okay though, they're growing. Okay, now we're looking here. I got some row cover this year because I am determined to try to grow cabbage and broccoli and all of the brassicas because I love brassicas. Brassicas do not love me. Brassicas do not love me because we have a lot of water and my clay soil holds on to that water so it also has a lot of slugs and I realized today the slugs are already eating my cabbages and everything. So let me show you. I have broccoli, cauliflower, um, kohlrabi, and cabbage in this bed. And then I have more kohlrabi in this bed and more cabbage. You'll see, it's tiny. This is a little kohlrabi. Kohlrabi's a new crop that I'm trying. This is a kohlrabi that was eaten by the slugs. See? You can tell because it's like the leaf is like there's a little hole right there if you look. That's a sheer sign of a slug being a jerk face. So these guys are doomed. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna start some more seeds today and I'm probably just gonna do more kohlrabi and more cabbage. So these are broccoli and cauliflower. They're not doing bad though. Those are okay. Slugs haven't gotten them They're because they're taller. So they're not so close to the ground. So the slugs are not getting, well, okay. I spoke too soon. Look at the slug damage here. Slugs are the worst. I already found one in my hoop house earlier today. So it is what it is. But this is broccoli, Rob, and it's okay. It's sort of happy. They seem to be working on living, surviving, trying to survive. So that's not bad. More cabbage here. Little babies. Daylily, I can never get rid of my daylilies. Uh, he's like pretty much dead, not great. So I'm gonna go buy some slug stuff today because this is not good. This is depressing. Can we talk about this? That's ridiculous. 
but I am determined. So I'm gonna start some more seeds today and get some slug stuff and we're gonna keep going. Okay, so this bed is all kale. It's two different kinds of kale. You guys know I love kale. I've got red Russian kale and lacinado uh, is like a big kale. So you can see here, they are happy little kale sprouts. Happy kale sprouts. Look at these. Look at how cute they are. So that is going all the way down. We're gonna let those grow up and be happy. They're good. Um, this bed is my lettuce bed. So we're gonna do all kinds of lettuce, different kinds of lettuce. I have bib lettuce in there right now, you'll see. I'm gonna do some flowers over here, but there's some lettuce here growing up. Red and green bib. So it, it rained, so they're a little, they're doing okay. That one's happy, super happy. And then this is leaf lettuce. Look at how it sprouted so nicely. Look at the different colors. So we are growing. Now, back line here is garlic. So I planted this garlic in the fall last year. So I think it was October. I planted, look at how healthy this garlic is. That's some healthy, happy garlic. Happy garlic. Okay, so I did garlic here. And then this section, I had some space. <laughs> Look at mint. You got mint, man. And then I planted some sets of onion sets. So these are red onion sets. I'm hoping they'll bulb up, but I don't know if they will. If anything, they're already sprouting their greens. So that's like chives or onions greens, which will be delicious regardless. We can do all kinds of stuff with that. I hope they bulb up, but we will see. But that's that. Um, do you want to talk about the piece de resistance? My one asparagus. Remember last year we planted asparagus here? I did more onions over here. Look. Ta-da! Guys, we have asparagus. Look at how amazing it is. Can't see it. Behind it. We've got asparagus. One. More might come up, but I don't know. So, remember last summer I built my hoop house? Check out the new chicken coop. Bella, say hi. No, she's just concerned. We got a shed. So, let me show you what's going on here. I also bought a bunch of blueberries. Blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. So, this. You guys are familiar with the hoop house. Let's actually do the hoop house first. So I've got, I've been using this growing stuff. So this is like my experimental zone. Got some seedlings. My gosh, zinnias, marigold, and cosmos are going crazy. I gotta get these in the ground. These are zinnias, marigolds. Look at these cosmos. They're already blooming because I'm a dummy and I started them way too early. But they're doing great. I think I'm gonna put these in the yard today. Um, I'm also growing sour dock. Sour dock is a weed, but the chickens love it. So I'm just letting it go. So there's a ton of sour dock, but over here I planted lettuce. So it's kind of my experimental lettuce patch. I just am trying all kinds of things. More lettuce, sour dock, slug stuff. Um, but these lettuce are pretty happy in the hoop house. So I'm gonna let them just keep going and keep going. So they're doing good, not terrible. This side I have peas, radishes, spinach, lettuce, and experimental tomatoes. I just plopped them in the ground because I had extra tomatoes. They're not that happy because it got down to 30 something degrees last night. So much sourdough, guys. But the chickens love it, so I'm just feeding it to the chickens. Um, but look at this lettuce. My boss gave me this lettuce from work, and I just plopped it in the ground. That's pretty happy. That's a happy little lettuce. 
Um, but look at all this slug damage. This is from slugs. See the edge? That's from a slug. This is kale? I can't remember. I just scr scattered it. But look, I have spinach. This is spinach. Look at how, this is happy spinach. So I'm gonna be harvesting some spinach soon. That's like baby spinach, legit. So that looks good. This is sour dock. That, you can eat sour dock. I just don't love it. Um, this is another experimental tomato I just plopped in the ground. And then I have peas. So look at my peas. They're up here on this trellis. So we're gonna get some peas soon, actually. These are pretty happy peas. Happy peas, get it? And then radishes. My radishes in here are looking really good. Actually, they're sort of maybe bolting because I got a little too hot in here. It got up to like 90 degrees in here and radishes don't love that, but they're also getting eaten by the slug. I gotta get some slug stuff. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay, so that's the hoop house for now. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of planting in here today for seed starting. I gotta start more seed. But here are the girls. They're finally getting along. They were a little stressed about the new situation. So this is the new chicken coop and shed. So I did a little bed here in front and I'm designating I planted kale and peas in here. So this kale, see it all right there? It's gonna be for the chickens. So you can see it right here too. So the girls, I'm just torturing them because there's gonna be plants in front of the run here. So I built this extension. So we are not letting the girls free range at all anymore because our hawk population here in the neighborhood has just about like tripled, I think. Um, it's insane how many hawks we have now. So they have plenty of space. They're happy campers now. Um, they're not happy with the weather today, but we bought this shed. It got built here and let's go look I'll show you what I did so check it out this is the shed I just turned it into a chicken coop got their feed and stuff and my seeds and stuff I still have to organize it but I just put like a little wall up they don't get the whole thing because I wanted a shed too for my tools so then and my tools right here so this is this is kind of a big deal I was pretty excited that we got this. The girls are happy. They've got their nesting box. They're back to laying. Henrietta started laying again too, which is crazy. So, they're happy. They're just annoyed because they think they're getting treats and I'm not giving them treats right now. I typically give them treats every day I walk up to them. So yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. Mid-April. We got some cool weather stuff going on. Um, it's just hanging out. So, oh yeah, and then there's the apple tree I bought last year in the fall. It's doing really good. I doubt I'm gonna get any apples, but it's happy. I moved it here. This is where the old chicken coop used to be. I've got more onions there. So for the plan, you'll know this is gonna be, this row is gonna be cucumbers. And then we're doing all tomatoes and peppers in these beds. I'm probably going to do some um, on the long fence line. I'm going to do green beans. Yeah, I'm doing a bush green bean this year. And then on the archway, we might do um, nasturtiums and do some more flowers. Because honestly, last year, I loved the garden, but it was so green. I wanted more color. So I'm gonna do more flowers and stuff. So, but that's pretty much it guys. So I just wanted to give you a little quick tour and update on what's going on in mid April. I'm gonna try to do it every month and we'll kind of go from there. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.